Hi, this is Kat with Beetaholic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a herringbone wire wrap to make a pair of earrings. Now we've done this in previous videos before where you see that we've gone up on both sides to do the herringbone, but in this I'm going to show you how to do the single drop version. So this is a little bit more basic than the other version, so this is a great way to get started with that herringbone. And for this I'm going to be using 24 gauge artistic wire. And artistic wire is great when you're learning. It is a craft wire and then once you feel confident you can move up to the sterling silver, the silver filled, or the gold filled. And I'm going to be using an 8 millimeter gemstone bead for this. You can use any bead of your choice. And I have a little earring hook later because I'm going to show you how we're going to turn this into an earring. We just need basic tools for this so I need a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of flush cutters, and a pair of round nose pliers. I'm also going to be using a ruler so you guys see how long my wire is going to be. So let's go ahead and get started. And on my spool here, I'm just going to take off about 10 inches or so of artistic wire. And just snipping that off with my flush cutters. And now I can set that aside. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move about two inches or so from one end. Coming in with my round nose pliers here, I'm going to come in and what we're going to do is we're in essence going to make a wrapped wire loop. So I'm just going to bend that backwards, wrap it up and over the top, and I'm going to move my wire across. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to wrap. So that's one wrap and I'm going to do two, three, four, five, and on the sixth one, I'm going to wrap it towards the back, bring it across, and then I'm going to take my round nose plier out, flip it over to the back, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that little wire piece right like that. Just trim it and set that aside. And with your chain nose pliers, you can come in and just kind of tuck in that little tail of wire if it's sticking out at all. All right, perfect. So this is what we should have so far. It's just that nice little wrap with those six wraps up top. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to string on our bead, string it all the way down just like so. All right, so make sure, because with these guys there is a front and a back, so make sure that little tail is on the back side. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this so it comes up and around in front of that wrap. So very carefully, just make sure you get a nice sharp corner there and wrap it up and around the bead and make sure it comes across and sits just in front of that wrapped wire loop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around that wrapped wire loop and I'm going to bring it out to the side here. So I came up and across, wrapped it around, and going on top of it, I'm coming out to the side. Now I'm going to bring it down so it sort of frames the rest of the bead there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in front of the first wrap there so you can kind of see what's happening there. You can see I'm going in front of that wrap, and I'm going to repeat that one more time. And I'm going to go around and over and down again. And this time coming behind. So now you can see that I'm going down and around and behind that first wrap we did. Coming up. And now I'm going to wrap around that wrapped wire loop once and twice. And now just bring that towards the back, coming around, clipping off my wire, and sort of pinching that in with my chain nose plier. And then what you can do on the sides here is you can kind of just bring that wire together so that it creates that nice little tight little frame there on your bead. All right, and the last step here is we're just going to take our ear wire. I'm going to open that little loop just by giving it a little gentle twist, slip on my piece, 
and close that up. And there you have a fun little earring that's just a nice little wire wrap. And it's got that herringbone, but you've framed your little gemstone bead or your pearl very nicely in a lovely little earring. So that is how to do the single herringbone wrap. You can find more videos and all of these supplies by heading over to beatahalik.com.